This is how I display my joystick inputs inside OBS when I stream or record videos. Step one, we're gonna to navigate to the site. The first thing we need to familiarize ourselves with is the joystick panel on the top right. This is where all your controllers will be listed. If you see all your joysticks listed, then you're good to go. If you have more than four controllers like I do, then you're gonna to have to do some rearranging. All you have to do is unplug all your joysticks and plug them in the correct order that you'd like to see them display. I would do this as little as possible as it will always reset every time you restart your computer. Here's an example of how I do it. I just unplug my left, right, and VPC control panel and then plug in my first stick, my second stick, and then my VPC once the first two are recognized. From there, you're good to go. Now we just have to set up our inputs. Yours isn't going to look the same as mine, but we'll cover this a little bit further down the road. For now, let's just follow along. Double click, select the correct widget, then label as needed. From here, we're gonna open up the joystick panel again. Because I'm looking at the right stick and I'm doing my pitch and yaw, I want to find out which numbers correspond to my pitch and yaw. My right stick is joystick one, so now we just have to move around the corresponding axes or buttons to find out which is the correct number. My X axis is one and my Y axis is two. Now that we have that information, let's plug them in. And once they're plugged in, let's give it a test. The steps from here on out are going to be the same. Just mess around with different widgets and different settings and find what works for you. We're going to go ahead and skip ahead to my current setup. I won't be covering saving or loading as it's pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and skip into colors. For outline color, we're going to select a singular color. This means no mixes whatsoever. We want either red, blue, or green, nothing in between. Next, we're going to select our chroma key color. This color cannot be the same as your outline color and should also be only one type of color. We also want to make it as dim as possible. I recommend a value of 40 for either one of the three colors, either 40 green, 40 blue, or 40 red. Once you have your color, click on the two arrows on the bottom right till we get to the hex code number. Just write it down or memorize it as you won't be able to copy paste it inside OBS. And all we need to do is go up to save and to export. We want a direct link, which will open a new page showing you the visual. We're going to copy the link up above and then we're gonna take this into OBS. I'm not going to be covering OBS much here, but just make sure you're under scenes and then we're going to create a source inside that scene. Navigate to browser source and name it whatever you'd like. Paste the code in the URL, but before you hit OK, we're going to do a little modification. If you look at the URL code from right to left, you'll see a percent sign next to the number 22. Add two zeros just before that percent sign, and this will increase the resolution of the texture on the overlay. It will also auto chroma for us, but we're still going to be adding a chroma filter just in case any of these settings ever change. And lastly, don't forget to put your correct resolution on the source file. If you don't see the overlay, make sure it's in scenes and in the correct order. Once visible, you can adjust it as needed by dragging the corners with or without the use of the Alt key on your keyboard. Now let's open filters and to add a chroma key. Set the color to custom and put in the correct hex code, then set the top three values to one and opacity as desired. Everything should now be working. If for some reason some of the inputs are not working, this is because there's a conflict between OBS's readings on what is plugged in in what order in your browser. What I recommend is having both open at the same time and unplugging and replugging things in in the correct order. It's a little bit of a headache sometimes, but you'll eventually figure it out if you keep messing with it. That's it for this guide, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.